<sighs> Today's adventure is gonna be an urban pond hopping adventure. We're gonna be going for a fish that is notoriously hard fighting, known as a mud tuna, mud fish, mud marlin. What else? What else do they call it? Bottom feeder, that's yeah. what Jay is, sorry. <laughs> but they're notoriously hard fighting. Um, it's not my favorite fish to catch, but we're gonna kind of go for a multi-species catch today. And I wanna show you that you can go to these urban spots that not, you wouldn't think to fish for. No, no, you really wouldn't. You really wouldn't. This, this place. Um, but this is, you know, a lot of the stuff that we do, we're out in the sticks, we're, we're in hidden ponds or rivers, you know, throwing jigs underneath trees but this is going to be more of an urban exploration this is we're going to be pond hopping we're going to go into a few different ponds and trying to catch a bit of everything today so stay tuned this is going to be a good one Yeah, so we're uh, <laughs> we're going somewhere we shouldn't really be here, but I mean, you got to do what you got to do for a fish, though. Yeah, we shouldn't really be where we are. If, uh, if someone asks us to go, we'll go. It's not a problem, but really want to catch a fish here. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. It's we'll a bit of a madness. We'll see, we'll see how long it takes for us to get kicked out of here. Yeah, it won't be long, I'd imagine. But if we do, it's fine. We'll just move on to the next pond. So, yeah, let's get it done. Okay, we've already seen some of these fish. So, for now, we're gonna put the lures away and we're just essentially gonna sight fish one of them. We're using bread on the surface. That's sort of the, the best way to catch these beasts in the summer. There's one here, there's one here right now. So close. Oh! Okay, so we're gonna be able to catch them. Some more bread. Yeah, if you got some. Do we, is, how are we gonna, how are we gonna land it here, man? Like, mm. we, this is what we gotta think about. Is it better going down the bank like they're everywhere? Do you know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna catch one. Like, <laughs> do we go down the bank somewhere? It's up to you. Look at them. I know, yeah. This is ridiculous. So. We can do, you can go over there if you want. Yeah, I think, I think for the sake of the fish, getting this fish in. Yeah. Like if, if if I'm not getting one anywhere else, then of course I'll come back here. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna go down on a bank because we think it's gonna be easier to land one down there rather than being up high on a like a a, a concrete structure. Um, but I think this might happen pretty quick, guys. Yeah. So. My heart's racing, man. Okay, here's good. If we can kind of bait the area up a little bit. Oh, there's one there. <laughs> I mean, do we go back to that thing? Do we go back there? I'm thinking they're gonna come over here. I think, I think they're, I mean, all the lily pads, oh, there's lily pads here, but I guess there's one there. Okay, they're coming in. Okay, stick it to the hook. I feel like that's gonna come off. All you gotta do is stangle it right in, right in front of them. I'm gonna let him eat it this time. Yep. Got him. There you go. There you go. So there's a little one. Hooked right in the corner of his mouth. I 
That is a tiny little uh, common carp, also known as the mud marlin. We're gonna get some bigger ones though. Oh, come back up the bank. There we go. Let's go. Nice. Whoa, yeah. big one, big one right there. Yeah, big one. <laughs> Let me just sound. Quickly. Got him, got him, got him. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I'm not even recording. We got a big in here. He was ripping dry. Oh shit. He's gonna take me into the reeds. It's gonna take me into the reeds, get out of there. Now you can see why they're so hard fighting, guys. That guy is peeling drag. <laughs> it's like a, it's like fishing for tarpon or something. I might have to get in here, dude. Yeah, all the way in there, dude. <sighs> this is one of the bigger ones. Yeah, he's going for the reeds. He's going for the reeds, please get out of there. This is 12 pound, 12 pound braid. Great common. This is why people fish for these guys. What a fight. He ain't done as well. He ain't done. Perfect hook set. Oh, film me, film me. Don't worry about the net. They've got lots of fight in them. And then you can get some. Yeah, I got you. Oof. There he is. I mean, this is what Bring we came in. for. Bring him in. Bring him in. This is what we came for. Right there. Okay. Right there. There you go. Nice, dude. You got him. Yeah. Okay. That's more like it. That's a common carp. They're actually not native in this country. They're from Asia, right? Yeah. Um, sure. A lot of people fish for them for their hard fights. Um, as you saw, that put up a real big fight. Um, amazing fish, not really our target species usually, but they're, they're great fun in the summer. Um, you throw a bit of bread on the top of the water and you'll get one. Uh, yeah, it's always fun to catch one of these guys. And now, I can say goodbye to him. That's a pretty big fish. There he goes. That's fish number two already on this spot. Let's go get some more. There's a species of fish in here that kind of look like orangey red. You're not gonna be able to see them. We have no idea what they are. Be cool to catch one and then if you guys can ID it in the comments. A big one coming in, big one coming in. Big one, big one. I'm just gonna wait until I can see them. 
There's Biggin, Biggin, right there. Right there. Why aren't you all sinking? Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Got him. Got one. This is a smaller one. Talk louder. This is a... A smaller one. Oh, but you, they're, they're, dude, they fight so hard. Yeah. It is like, I can see why people call them mud marlin. Yeah. Right, fucking mud, mud tuna. I think he got a mirror there. Good job, good job, man. So this, guys, this is a, a small uh, mirror car. They were originally, these were bred in the 1800s uh, to have less scales on them, so that they were easier to prepare. But he fought like an absolute tank, especially considering, you know, how small he is, but it's time to get him back. Job. Awesome dude. That was nice. Trying to catch one of these like orangey looking ones now. Yeah, I've never uh, not seen these before. There we go, they're in here now. They're in here to feed him. Let him let him uh, if one of them takes it, really let them eat it then, I guess. Maybe they're a hybrid kind of or like a I don't know. I've never seen them before. There we go. It's a little one. Tiny dinky one. And all of this guys, this is all just with, you know, bog standard household bread. There we go. He's got one. Nice. Nice, flip him on. Wow. Look at the colours on that. I don't know if that's showing up, but what is that? It looks like maybe like a rud or something. If any of you guys can ID this, that's a really interestingly coloured fish. It's like gold. Yeah, I think it might be. Uh... Okay. Oh, he's gone anyway. Nice. Good job, man. Good job. I think what we're going to do now, I'm going to try and hook into a, you know, a decent one. A big one. Big one. Something. You know, around ten pound. They are around here. They are cruising. So let's try and catch us a mudfish. Here's oh, Biggin's big coming in right now. You got bread it's down there. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. I can uh, yeah, I can see him coming in. Some of those. Whatever they are, they're so brightly coloured, like an orangey red. Yeah. Almost look one. tropical. Yeah, there's a there's a big one. It's just turned away. I mean, I can catch another one of these small one if you want. I mean, I'd go for, I'd go for a big one if I were you. Yeah. See if I can get one coming in. Yeah, give it, give it a go. That's 
not good. Try that again. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Get it back. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. I reckon we could even trick one of them to take in a lure, you know. Yeah, probably. Or a fly. Yeah. I reckon you could fly fish for them for sure. Yeah, I reckon we could uh, definitely chuck some in. Let me just catch another one real quick. Hi there guys, we're out there adventures. This is how you catch a fish. Got him. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice one. This is crazy. <laughs> I'll be really interested to see. Leave a comment below what those fish are. I think they're a, a rudd or a roach. But we don't do any kind of this we don't do this type of fishing normally. We only normally do we're a predatory fisherman basically, so it's always normally lures. We don't even do dead baiting. But yeah, leave a comment below, let us know what those fish are, because we really want to know. They look awesome. Yeah. They're so like they're so like vibrant and, and, and goldy coloured. Crazy looking. Never seen any any fish like that. It's almost like a goldfish. Yeah. Like a big, big goldfish, but I know goldfish, I think they're carp, aren't they? Yeah. I don't think that was a car. Yeah, they definitely look exotic. Yeah, they, they stand do. out in the water. They do, yeah. Catch some more. Yeah. Now, now Jay, Jay's caught one of these redfish. I've, I've got to catch one. Wait, it's not a redfish that you guys know. There's a few carp there now. Yeah. Got That's one. That's a carp. Got one. Another common. The common carp. Little tiny one again, but I mean, I'm trying to get one of those red ones, and he just came over and slurped it up like a, a slush puppy. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting back. Red ones first. Okay. Got him. Go. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Wow. Had a decent camera. Oh. He's gone anyway. <sighs> this is insanity. I see how you mean now about catching those guys. Yeah, just kind of put tension on them. Oh. Oh. Got him. That's it. Got him. And that's how it's done. That's how it's done. A bar of gold and silver with cherry red fins yeah they look awesome yeah they look exotic yeah really cool looking fish they're just not under they're just not getting the message are they <laughs> <laughs> but yeah let's let's move around this this pond and see if we can get into any bigger carp or if there's if there is any perch or anything yeah. or any other species we don't know what's in here. No, we really don't know what's in here. We, we've fished, we've probably been fishing for what, 45 minutes? About that. Um, and we've only, we've fished like 5% of this pond. Yeah. So, 
We'll give these guys a rest. We'll move around to some of the more urban looking spots. Cause you're probably thinking this doesn't look very urban, but I assure you there's like a huge car museum back there um, and like factories and stuff. Um, but when we go around there, um, it, it will look more urban. gonna throw a tiny jig along this wall see if there are any predators over by that backwater looks good see fish down there It's weird going back to lure fishing now, having to like actively work the bait rather than just let it sit. If I caught a perch now, would you be switching lures? <laughs> we'll see. Maybe there's no predators in here, but it's worth a try. No harm in trying. All I need to do is just see one perch. Oh my God, huge carp just cruising down there. Let's see if I can catch him on a lure. I don't think he's seen me. Got him, got him. That's a carp, carp on a lure, on a lure. Carp on a lure. That's insane. I cannot believe I've just caught a common carp on a swim bait in a jig head. I think I'm gonna walk him over to that ramp. I don't know if you can get down there. Dude, I dropped it in front of his face. It was instant, he just sucked it in. If you, I don't know if you, huh? Well, I don't think, I think I got to walk him over. Get recording on your thing. Yeah, hold, hold it, hold it. H hold it, man. Got it. Well, what I'll do. I'm gonna walk around right here, like this. I'm gonna walk him round, because there's a ramp just, just over there. I can't believe that. I gotta get this fish, man. Gotta get him. See, I'm thinking there might be perch down there where it's deep. Almost there. This is crazy, man. I can't, but that's my first carp on a lure. It can be done. And he completely inhaled it. Let's see him. Uh, can do, yeah. Thank you. You can see the lure in his mouth. Got him. <laughs> oh my God. 
Even the laws aren't safe over this place. Um, get that there, take the bale off. Be very careful. You can see the jig head Bring him right up. in the top of his mouth. <laughs> he ate a minnow. This is a minnow eating fish. A predatory carp. And that's what it was. A tiny minnow on an eagle claw, 1 16th ounce bull, bull head jig. And we got this urban carp. <laughs> instant take, as soon as it hit the water, instant. Get him back. That's crazy, man. It can be done. I bet you if we went over to that walkway where, the, where all those carp were congregating, I bet they'd take, they'd, they'd take that. So we're gonna walk back to uh, the, this like walkway that we saw right at the start where there was just big groups of uh, big, big fish. So we're gonna try and get a cast, catch each there and then I think we'll get out of here and we'll go to the next spot. Um, but yeah, there's there's big ones over by this this walkway. Yeah, so huge. probably pushing on about ten pound. Yeah. So they got some real decent size to them. So double D's. <laughs> double D's. <laughs> There, there, there. So that's what you just gotta do that there. Dude, that's a big one. Yeah, dude, big one. Big one. Talk, speak. Dude, this is an ultralight ride and we're hooked into a car. And he is, uh, he's not coming in anytime soon. He's not, he's not that big. He's not that big. Oh, he's decent though. He's still decent. Didn't even, I didn't even strike on him then. All I did was literally put tension on the line. And he set that hook himself. He ran with it. Big mirror car. That's a big mirror right there. You can understand why people like fishing for them. I'm gonna let him run a minute. Digging down, eh? Yeah, there's a there's his bigger brother. Look at that. What? Right, you bring him in? Yeah. If you you'll be able to get him here, won't you? Yeah. Taking a risk with my GoPro. When I net him, put your foot on the thing and I'm going to grab my GoPro. Got him. Got him. Got it? Yes. 
nice. Good job, man. And there you go. That's a nice one. Car. Quite a lot of Tilting forward. It's quite a lot of blemishes on the uh, on this fish, but he fought like an absolute tank. It's crazy how hard they they fight for their size. Yeah. I think James is going to try and get a bigger one now, but that was a wicked fight fish. We're going to get him back. Hell yeah. Do you reckon I can? I'd put him over the top. Grab that line off me, dude. Yeah, got it. Drop, drop the rod in that slot. Right, you go underneath and grab it now. Okay, I'll bring it down even more. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That was awesome. Absolutely awesome. Uh, you know, I can't really describe how how hard they fight. They just keep digging and keep digging. They just never give up. Yeah. Um, Super invasive fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, now I'm covered in, in slime, but yeah. This is uh, this is good fun. Let's catch another one. And this is only spot number one. Yeah. This is spot number one. We're going to be going and catching some uh, some big old pike, some pretty soon. Toothy, toothy fish. Yeah. I think there's. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Take it. Take it. Ah, oh, small one's going to have it. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Oh, he's gone straight into the reeds. Straight in. He'll come out in a minute. If he doesn't break me off. There he is, he's got me wrapped up. He's got me wrapped up, he's out, he's out, he's out. He's out. Keep him on the surface, take him over here. There he is. Not the one that we wanted, guys, not the one that we wanted, but you know, I just, I, I wanted a fish at that now, you know. Can't be picky, we can always come back here another day. Uh, I just saw him. He came up, he wanted it, and I thought, you know, let him have it. There we go. There he is. Nice, dude. <sighs> Did it again, on the bread. It's been ridiculous over here. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's get him up and uh, have a look at him. But there's another, I believe this is a mirror carp. Uh, only a small one. Fought well. These fish are good fun in the summer, throwing some bread on the top, and you can see you can do it with a lure as well. Um, but yeah, great fun fish. Uh, I think it's time to go to spot number two. Mm. Let's get him back. That way. There we go. And he's <sighs> this has been a crazy spot. Spot one. I don't even know how many fish we've had. We probably could have caught more fish here. Yeah. Um, but that goes to show, you know, this is the first urban spot that we've hit. Uh, there's factories everywhere, businesses, offices, main roads, highways. Like we we are on the outskirts of a city right now. Yeah. Um, this is not in the sticks. We might. I think the next spot will be a bit more in the sticks. We're going to try and get some top water frogs, but this just goes to show you go on Google Maps, you find spots, and there's there's a lot of great fishing to be had. So stay tuned for spot number two.
trick with chopsticks. Now watch this. Can you use chopsticks? No. 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 no I'm, I can kind of do it, but to make it easy, yeah. you get a napkin. Yeah. I, I saw this online. You put them to the edge of the nap napkin. You roll the napkin. And then, you have chopsticks. <laughs> That's a little live pack for you. That's ridiculous. So, yeah, so there you go. So we're heading to spot two right now. We have to walk through uh, quite thick woodland to get down, yeah, jungle. There's bugs everywhere. It's a little different to the, the urban spot that we're at, but it's just close by, so why not? Yeah, this is one of our, uh, our favorite spots to fish. We've been coming here for a couple of years now. Um, I don't. I don't want to say we're guaranteed to catch a fish, but we're not <laughs> far off it. So yeah, yeah. Uh, get onto onto some uh, spiky tooth pike. Yeah, I mean the it. the aim is top water as well here. Um, so we've got we've got some scum frogs that we're going to throw. Um, there's a lot of vegetation around the uh, banks of this lake, loads of grass, thick, thick grass with lily pads and stuff. So you kind of have to fish something that's really weedless or in this case, in the summer, top water frog is, is a, a really, really good bet. So let's get after it. Okay, it's time to put some work in. Take my bag off. So up to about 25 yards, would you say that is, to where the grass ends. Yeah. So you kind of, like you say, you have to be using something really weedless at this time of the year around here. Um, Jay's in a real good spot over there, just off the edge of the grass. I'm gonna go over there to Yeah, got one. Oh! Got him. Got him. Big and big and got him. Got him. in the mouth. Yeah, I got a real good hook set there. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Right off those lily pads. That ain't good on your fingers, I'll tell you that. Uh, yeah, scum frog. Top water. Not the biggest fish, but a good jack, good sport, fishing these lilies, it's great fun. That's spot number two, fish number 5,000. There we go, fishing with frogs. Let's get him back. So, I think the video is going to come to an end because we're both really beat and we've kind of ran out of time yeah. with uh, going to other places. But we just wanted to show you that 
I know, I guess only one of the places with an urban spot. Yeah, this but makes me look really short. But we've there we go. we've got we've got a bunch of other urban spots that we know of and we want to check out because um, they are interesting. They sit on the you know on the outskirts of cities and you wouldn't think there'd be life in there, but there is. nature finds a way. Um, yeah. So yeah, this is the end of this video. We've got more coming out. If you liked it, please like, subscribe. We need subscribers, so please do that. Yeah, I think we're sitting around two ten. <laughs> something like that it's like too <laughs> pathetic isn't it? yeah but we're gonna keep making these videos and one yeah. day we're gonna go international i can tell you that for free yeah. yeah so hope to enjoy the video keep fishing look for these places and uh, get it done we've been out there adventures thanks for watching i nearly said what john b says then that was really rotty. What? <laughs> he goes, it's such a good way to wrap up. He goes, keep fishing, never stop.